This is the closeout report for a Cardano Press plugin built on WordPress. Now, the WordPress is a highly used content management system and it powers over 40% of the internet websites at the moment. And this plugin is intended to allow anyone that is building on WordPress to connect the plugin in and talk to the Cardano blockchain via the Blockfrost API. Now this is project number 90052 called Cardano Press, a plugin for builders. Now we went through the process of gathering as much detail from the community as possible in regards to what they wanted, what they needed out of this plugin. We had a, a, a small mock-up and MVP, but we really wanted to extend this to the point where it was actually useful for builders, useful for people that are wanting to build out their NFT projects, create that extra utility, token gating, delegation gating of content on their website. So that was the, the key goal. Uh, we also put in a couple of other features as well, such as delegation uh, onto the website. So it's one click delegation and we built out uh, ISPO plugin and governance plugin as well um, for extensions on top of this. So we went through and uh, talked to the uh, community in great detail around how the plugin could be used, how they wanted to use it as well and tweaked little things. We're seeing like language trends translations over into Chinese now, which is absolutely amazing and uh, so many really cool projects building on it. Now, if you look at our code, we've gone through many iterations of this now. We've um, gone through up to a stable release, uh, last one in January, 1.1, and that's visible also on the Cardano, not Cardano, WordPress plugin directory. You can get to it here. Uh, you can go to wordpress.org slash plugin slash Cardano press, all one word and you'll be able to see the plugin here. We received quite a nice amount of reviews at the moment. We've got uh, six five-star reviews and uh, about 100, just over 100 active installations uh, since we launched this on the plugin directory over a month ago. So it's a, a nice amount of adoption. And we should see one of the key milestones was to increase the adoption and the usage of the Blockfrost API. And I really hope um, that has... Uh, well, it should have. If, if you need to use the plugin uh, with a Blockfrost account, so we should have at least 100 people opening up a Blockfrost uh, ID accounts on there. Now, what I'll show you here is a quick little demo of uh, how the plugin's actually being used. So here on our own Learn Cardano website, uh, if we wanted our delegates uh, or viewers of our, our YouTube channel to support our work, we can tell them to go to one of our controlled branded websites uh, where we can educate the user on what to do and how to do it. So we can tell them to go to learncardano.io slash delegate. And on here, that has got a little bit of instructions what you need to do, but here you can also simply just connect your wallet, connect NAMI, Eternal, it supports all these ones here. We're gonna add more support in, but here you can see it's now successfully uh, connected and now I can hit the delegate button and that will bring up the, uh, the, the NAMI wallet screen. So just give it a second. I'll just swap screens so you can actually see it appear. So there we go. We can see it appear there. I'll just cancel that transaction. There we go. And I've canceled that. And uh, that would have gone through if you uh, continue that process to actually go through and delegate to the uh, particular um, wallet. Now here also you can see on other staple operators that we've partnered up with. So this is part of campaign that we're doing at the moment. We're trying to engage with SPOs that may be interested in this and uh, helping them through the installation and the uh, um, configuration process of the plugin. So we have now known that there are a couple of issues. Um, with various different sites. So we're putting in extra documentation now so that will help other users uh, integrate the plugin. But this one here is from 46S or 46 South, a New Zealand state pool operator, and they've integrated the plugin as well on their website to make it easier for their delegates to go through and start uh, delegating to their state pool. Uh, we also have seen a stake pool as well. This is Boss over in the Netherlands. So he's gone through and uh, very easily, I just gave him a little bit of support over his uh, Discord channel and they managed to get the delegation uh, uh, process all set up as well. So here we can click on delegate, we can click connect. 
Now they need a little bit of work on their styling for their wallet uh, connector here. So I'll just click on NAMI and the NAMI prompt appears again. Let me just quickly flick over so you can see that. There we go. So that screen there actually asks for access to the uh, website. So you need to whitelist, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a, that's a really cool uh, um, another implementation to see gone through. Now we're going to get more and more of these and we're helping more of the SPOs at the moment to get on board and uh, install this, uh, this particular plugin because we are doing a treasure hunt. We're doing a treasure hunt around um, our uh, NFT project that has come out very soon. Now, the last bit I'll show you here is actually how to install this plugin from the back end of your WordPress site. So this particular site here is a tester site that we use for our um, demonstrations and whatnot. So what I'll do in the background in the back end here is install Cardano Press. So you can do that easily by going to plugins, add new, and then search for Cardano Press. So, and the one that you want to install is the core one, the core Cardano Press plugin. So we'll click on install and click the activate button. Now, because I did have this already installed, I do have the configuration already done here uh, for me. So here for my particular website, because this is a state pool website, I need to put in the pool ID, the mainnet pool ID that I have, and also my Blockfrost API key, which I can get from the Blockfrost website. Now for this particular setup, I don't need to do anything else here, such as the payment page or recapture keys, because I'm not using the NFT payment page. I do have policy ID set up for my uh, learn token here, and I also have the access via the learn token as well. So I can give a delegate access, so a particular access role that I have on the website um, based on if you have this token in your wallet. The other thing that I'll look at here is also delegation access for a user. So if you've delegated for more than three epochs, three active epochs, you get that uh, delegation role assigned as well. So having that delegation role means you get access to something on the website itself. Now, the other thing that I'll do here in the back end is I'm just going to swap over to my default theme here. And the default theme that we have is the Kadana Press bootstrap theme. I'm just going to activate that one. It does work with other themes as well, but there's a little bit of extra work that you will need to do. And uh, it's probably really important also to note that blocky type themes on WordPress, the ones that are powered by Gutenberg, don't work out of the box. And there is quite a bit more work that you need to do putting a little bits of short code around in the theme to be able to actually activate the uh, modal pop-up for the wallet connector. So here I've just uh, activated the Kadana Press Bootstrap theme, which you can also get on our GitHub repository here. This is it here that you can see, it's called Theme Bootstrap, and that will get you up and running with the, uh, the starter theme that will work uh, with everything out of the box. So here I'll just refresh this particular front end and there we go. Um, I've already connected on this particular website because it's uh, associated with my account. But from here, uh, let's just disconnect from this. There we go, I'm logged out. So I'm going to try now access this, this uh, private piece of content. There we go. And I do not have access because I don't have the particular role that's required to get to this particular page. So now I'll hit connect and I'll connect my NAMI wallet. Now my, uh, this particular NAMI wallet, which I've just switched over to, does have access to this particular page. And here we can see that um, I can now see uh, the information on this page. This is a submit API. Um, now everyone can see it because it's public on this video. So I will need to update that now. Uh, but there you can see the, uh, uh, the Smith API uh, endpoint. So if anyone wants to use that, they can. And it's uh, really quick and easy to get to. And there's a little bit of instructions on how to set up NAMI wallet to use that uh, Smith API endpoint. Now I can just log out of this and it will take me out of the site and then I don't have access to that page again. So it's a really quick and simple implementation there. And this one here is purely for a delegate so that um, they have this uh, private submit API endpoint. So that's it. That's a, that's a brief overview of the Kadana Press plugin, everything that we've built for the uh, particular challenge. Uh, key milestones that we've hit and we are so happy that we're out at the moment and hitting those particular goals in regards to uh, getting more people using the plugin and uh, getting the Blockfrost API uh, itself more access to. Now, as a part of our next phase for the development of the plugin and continuous growth, we are looking at a NFT project which we are going to launch. This is it here. This is the Kadana Press WAPU. 
the character that was a mascot created for the WordPress community. And we've taken this and made it into a, a menacing mecha robot. And now we're just going through and just working out the art style and everything around it. Do we go full gradient, semi-flat or full flat with bolded stroke outlines? Uh, so we're getting some feedback from the community in general to see which direction we're going. And I absolutely love the direction where it's going. This is the uh, um, semi-flat or flat gradients with the uh, bold black strokes around it. I think it looks uh, pretty cool, pretty menacing itself. But, you know, it gets a little bit better here with the color variations, different tones, and also some of the backgrounds that are coming in as well. So our artist is uh, doing an amazing job of putting this one together. And we're also teamed up with a whole bunch of uh, Cardano native projects that are building on Cardano to uh, incorporate some of their styling and everything around it too. So I'm really excited about this phase. Uh, hopefully this funding will allow us to build the next part of the Cardano Press ecosystem and that's the whole uh, SaaS service behind it so that users can get a WordPress Cardano Press powered website up and running within a few minutes, within a few clicks. So all they have to do is type in a couple of details, spin up a website and away they go. It takes away a lot of this technical setup that some people are struggling with that we're finding that uh, we're getting feedback about at the moment as well. So that's it. If you love this stuff, check out our website, kadanapress.io, where you can find out more information, follow us on Twitter and join the Discord community as well. There's a lot of uh, activity going on there. I do a lot of support requests on there. And if you get stuck on anything in regards to Kadana Press, please reach out and we're more, more than happy to help out and uh, jump into your website and just get things uh, rolling for you. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.